Hey students, welcome to the video. Today I have come up with a very interesting question. So this is basically an IIT JE question. This came in the year 2019. Don't get scared that it's an IIT JE question. It's very simple. Basically, it's about the arithmetic progression. So this is a chapter in 10th grade. So 10th graders would easily be able to understand this. So in 10th grade, it's a chapter arithmetic progression. It's there in your NCRT book. So I'm just going to be using the basic formulas that you have. So using those formulas, we will be able to get to the answer. So let's see what the question is. If A1, A2, A3 and so on are in AP, AP means arithmetic progression, all these terms. And out of this, this whole, it goes on and on and on. Out of this, A1 plus A4 plus A7, so on plus A16 is 114. Then A1 plus A6 plus A11 plus A16 is equals to. So first of all, we know that this is an AP. Right, out of these, only these terms, A1, A4, A7, A16. That means if I start from A1, I'll have A1 here. I have A4, I have A7. After that, we can see a gap of two terms. After A1, we have A4. So A2 and A3 is missing. Two terms are missing. After A4, I have A7. So A5 and A6 are missing. Again, after 7, A8 and A9 will be missing. So I'll have next term as A10. Similarly, after this, A11, A12 would be missing. The next term is going to be a13. Similarly, after this, A14 and A15 would be missing and the next term that we have is going to be A16 and their sum is 114. Now, all we need to do is, we have this, total 6 terms are there, right? So, I'm, we are shown that the sum of all these terms is 114. I'm using the sum, the formula of sum of n terms, right? I have the first term, I have the last term. So, I'm using this formula n by 2a plus l, right? Because if you think about using the other formula, we don't have the common difference. So it's better we use this formula over here. So total terms are 6. This n will be replaced with 6. So wherever I have n, I'm going to replace that with 6 upon 2. A1 is the first term. L is the last term, which is A16 over here. I'll write that as it is. Equals to 114. So this is 2 times 1, 2 times 3. 3 will cancel this out. 3, 3 is a 9 and this becomes 24. 3 times 8 is 24. What do you get? A plus A16 is 38. So this is the result I'm getting from here. Now question is saying that you look for the value of A1 plus A6 plus A11 plus A16. Total 4 terms are here. Again, I'll be using the same formula. I have the first term. I have the last term, right? Total terms are 4. So this time, I'm going to replace n with 4 over here. That's going to be 4 by 2. First term is A1, last term is A16. I already have the value of A1 plus A16. Let's substitute it here. I'm going to get 2 times 1, 2 times 2. And this is nothing but that's 38. So 2 times 38 is going to be 76. See, just by using one formula, that too from your NCRT book, we were able to solve this IIT J question. Wow, isn't that amazing? So do leave a comment for me in the comment section how you like this question.